Dear viewers, welcome you all to our show, Orthopedic Solution Academy. Hope you all are well during this COVID-19 pandemic situation. By wearing masks and keeping distance with each other. Dear viewers, uh, today our topic is a magical topic, that is Elizaro, the ultimate uh, destiny of all orthopedic surgeons. And uh, our uh, episode one topic is the biomechanics of the Elizaro. Uh, and our honorable speaker is uh, the very known the pioneer Elizabeth surgeon in Bangladesh, Professor Mafakharul Barisar, uh, visiting Professor Bardem, uh, BIHS, and visiting honored Professor Kurgan, uh, Russia. So welcome, welcome to our show, Orthopedic Solution Academy. Thank you so much, Tanvir, for your good introduction. Thank you very much, sir. Mm. And uh, we have uh, an excellent academic expert, uh, from uh, Russian Institute of uh, Elizarov, that is uh, Professor uh, Novikov, sir. And I would like to uh, welcome uh, our very uh, popular professor, Professor Novikov, sir, to our program, Orthopedic Solution Academy. Sir, welcome. Welcome to our show, Orthopedic Solution Academy. Good afternoon, all of doctors from Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, dear viewers, we all know that uh, the Elizarov is a, a Russian method, and mm -hmm. uh, it is an excellent method. Uh, nowadays, uh, uh, we are doing lots of Elizarov in our country, but uh, uh, a few years ago, it was not possible. But only uh, Professor Mafakharul Barisar uh, inspired us to do this Elizarov, and now many young surgeons are doing Elizarovs all over Bangladesh. Uh, now, I would like to request our honorable Speaker, Professor Mafakarul Barisar, uh, to start his presentation uh, mm -hmm. regarding the uh, biomechanics of Elizarov. Professor Mafakarul Barisar, please. Uh, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. We can hear you clearly and loudly, sir. Okay. Thank you, Tanvir, for your good introduction, and Professor Noviko, my good friend who is from Kurgan Center. I am very much glad that he's with me. And today I'd like to share my experience of the Elizarov technique. And Elizarov is my life, you know. The Before starting the biomechanics, I'd like to talk a little bit regarding the past, present, and future methodology of Elizarov. So, uh, you know, this is uh, my institute where I worked more than 10 years. And this is the one of the biggest centers in the world, orthopedic and trauma, situated in Dhaka, our capital city. This is my private center. This is I myself in Kurgan. You can see these are two guest honored professor of the Kurgan Center. And Kurgan is location from Moscow, 3,000 kilometers. You can see in the picture. And this is Professor Elizarov, who has established the powerful technology for the management of a great variety of bone diseases and conditions. It is considered by us as a system that is based on biological laws and technological philosophy. Basic principles of philosophy were started by founder of this method, Professor Elizarov, talk about the tensionistic effect that is to base biosynthetic activities in tissues, adequacy of blood supply and loading, gradual lengthening and correction, possibility of full time control of callus formation and early leave function and loading. The magician of Kurgan, when he started working in Kurgan, that is, I told you earlier, 3,000 kilometers from Moscow, Professor Lizar with a Russian orthopedician. He is the academic, Russian Academy of Medical Science, inventor of his apparatus, Elizarov apparatus. The, 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 the institute is called the Russian Elizarov Scientific Center, Restorative Traumatology and Orthopedic. And this is called the capital of the orthopedics in the world today. And this is Professor Elizaro, born in 1921 and passed in 1992. Academician, there are two academicians in Kurgan, one Professor Shepsov, disciple of Elizaro, and Professor Elizaro himself. You can see here, he graduated in 1943, and he started working after the Second World War in 1952, invented the transocious compression destruction osteosynthesis. So in 1968, he did his PhD thesis, and at the same time, the thesis was accepted for the DSC Doctor of Science. So this is transocious compression destruction osteosynthesis, 
with authors separate as experimental and clinical investigations. 1969, he got the DSC, and in 1970, you can see that he did a organized the symposium which was held in Purgan with all Soviet traumatologists and orthopedicians regarding his transocious compression destruction osteosynthesis. These are the uh, some pictures of the musicians of the Kurgan. In 1976, he arranged a conference in the Kurgan regarding his transocious osteosynthesis. You can see, and in 1983, he went to Italy to talk about his invention. In 1985, the Asami was found in France, in Belgium, Portugal, uh, Mexico, and Yugoslavia. Nowadays, more than 65 countries has got the Asami, including my country, Bangladesh. So, Professor Elizar, he lived for 71 years, worked with this method 40 years, and he worked in Kurgan Center for 21 years. You can see the picture of the left side with Professor Dror Pale. And at the same time, Professor Shevsov with Elizarov. And in 1992, Springer Wedlock, Berlin, they, they have written a book, which was the pictures were given by the Professor Elizarov, 8,000 cases, 656 pictures with 3,100 illustrations. So this is the awards the Professor Elizarov was uh, awarded by the different organizations of the Russia and outside the Russia. So this is Professor, some pictures of the professors, Elizar. So this is the Professor Elizar's daughter, uh, Dr. Sivitlana. We met her, I met him in Miami in 2015. And the son, right side, the Professor Alexander, son of the Professor Elizar. You can know, the Professor Elizar was called the Michelangelo of orthopedics. You can see Shevchenkikevich Shepchen, and Maori with Elizar. The method is spread to Italy. After he successfully treated Italian journalist Carl, Carlo Mauri in 1980. The extraordinary theory and principles he developed for the treatment of bone are of even greater significance than his instrumentation and devices. This was told by the Stephen Parrot, a paragon of ingenuity in jury 224. So, of this is the, if you see the right side, this is the old model in 1952 which was invented by the Professor Gabriel Abramovich Elizaro. So, a few moments now, you can see this is the graveyard of Elizaro, who died in 1921 and uh, uh, who died in 1992 and was born in 1921. What are the contributions of the Elizaro? This is very important. First, biologic law, law of tension and stress. This is slow and steady traction on a given tissue creates a destruction at which stimulates histoniogenesis and biologically this is very important for application of the Elizaro apparatus and second biologic law the shape forming processes acting upon bone tissues are dependent upon the magnitude of the applied load and the adequacy of the blood supply and method of corticotomy how you can do the corticotomy for lengthening the any kind of deformity correction if you go for corticotomy that was also invented by Professor Elizaro. And of course, the destruction and compression, osteosynesis, and lots of in instruments, myriads of instruments, thousands of instruments, more than 700 configurations he could make by this Elizaro apparatus. So the procedure, the first apparatus Elizaro designed for it was inspired by the shaft bow. You can see here, harness and a horse carriage, originally bicycle parts were used for the frame. Horse in harness with the shaft bow decorated arch standing behind the horse's head. So you can see the car was used by the Professor Elizarov. This is now kept in the Elizarov Center. And in, in the right side, the then director who served the Elizarov Center for more than 10 years. Now, Professor Gubid is the director of the Central Institute of Traumatology and Orthopedics in Moscow. This is the total uh, view you can see. Uh, 850 beds, 18 departments, 24 operation theaters, more than 350 orthopedic surgeons and employees, and other ancillary personnel. Now, this is, you can see the uh, the orthopedic capital of the world. See the uh, Russian Elizaro Scientific Center, the orthopedic center in the world, which is called the orthopedic capital. 
snow. Uh, whenever you can see the during uh, snowfall, front gate of the Elizaro Center, you can see this is fully covered and the summer season, beautiful flowers and the right side, the director and other staffs of the hospital, other doctors of the hospital. So this is the Elizaro Museum was opened in 15 June 1993. Professor V. I. Shepsov, director of the center at that time, opened it during the International Scientific and Practical Conference. The Lizarov Method, achievements and prospects that were dedicated to Gabriel Avramovich Lizarov and the future of the method. You can see here, this is the part of a museum that I'm showing you. The professor, disciple of the professor Lizarov Shepsov, who came to my country more than eight times. And he's the mentor. He is my professor. I learned a lot of things from this gentleman. And the right side, Professor Shepsov, and left side is the and director, Alexander Vadimovich Gubin. So the Gubin Alexander Vadimovich, former director who came to Dhaka, you see in my center in the right side. And this is I myself with my spouse uh, in Kurgan Center. So new director now is working, Dr. Bursov, Alexander Vladimovich who has taken the charge from 11th February 2020. So this is, you see, the Animal Experimental Center in Kurgan, Russia. Uh, 2019, I visited, I have seen that 390 dogs, 390 animals, not dogs, in total, everything they have seen there in 2019. So, uh, see. Uh, how we, they can do the applying the Elizarov in the uh, animal trauma in Russian Elizarov Center. So today, Elizarov and in future, extensive injuries, road traffic injury, industrial trauma, war injuries, and infection are the leading problems in trauma and orthopedic surgeons in future. Elizarov is supposed to be adjustable to the large scope of injuries and congenital deformities to give absolute stability enable movement of the adjacent joints and bearing the full load safe for the patient to have low scope of complications with the development of medical science metallurgy technology electronics we can expect improvement in the field of Elizarov center Elizaro. so this is during my student life you can see that is near about 40 years back i was in at that time in kiev and this is i was working in with my colleagues uh, in Kurgan, in Kurgan, Oti, they, they have a dog square. They are serving as a scientific research work. And the stalwarts of the Lizard of Trekking in the world. Right side, you can see Hajjat Bar. This is Organisian, Indian Junjunwala professor. And these are the well known Lizard of stalwarts in the world. So, stalwarts of the Lizard of that we met in 2016 in Australia and Brisbane. You can see here the all the renowned orthopedic Elizarov surgeons in the world. And Elizarov Day, 15 June. A message, all of us should try to visit the RIC RTO in Kurgan once in a life. This is the property of the whole world and our, our task is to promote it. The man who made it possible, this is the great scientist, Talented doctor that was written in Russian, I have translated in English, and gifted innovator, creator of the apparatus, and the, he is the sole authority of the Transocious Osteosynthesis Academician, Russian Academy of Medical Sciences, Professor Gabriel Abramov Lizarov. Those who have gone to the Lizarov Center, we stand on Lizarov's shoulder and will continue our effort. See, in the left hand, Professor Lizarov statue is holding the Elizar of apparatus a physician must observe nature learn from it and to be able to rectify its flow gabriel abramovich they told that one and see my dream to visit Elizar of center since my residency and today in my country we are doing a lot of cases we have a lot of young Elizar of surgeons is coming out and with these infinite variations, it can be used in many clinical settings frequently when else nothing else can be done. Its utility is limited only by our imagination or rather by the lack of it. Now I would like to talk something regarding the biomechanics of the Elizar of Compression Destruction Device. 
you can see you can put your Elizarov apparatus from head to toes. It's a dancing Elizarov. And Professor Elizarov, when he was young, he was trying how to help the people by creating the apparatus with the Elizarov fixator. Now see, uh, he has uh, uh, he has uh, given the this authority after creating this Elizarov apparatus in 1952. What is the Elizarov fixator? Classically, this is circumferential. We can use the small diameter weights, 1.5, 1.8, and 2 mm. And these weights are all smooth and tensioned, elastic. And another time, you can use the hybrid. But classical Elizarov apparatus, we are using all time with the weights. And what is optimal stability? You can see here how the horses in harness with a shaft bow decorated arch standing behind the horse's head and on the basis of that he created this his ring apparatus what is the stable what is the optimal stability and how to ensure the optimal stability for this there are types of things in the lizard of apparatus that is the rings very important wires very important and tension how to apply the tension with the uh, tensioner and internal stability of the bone and modes of elizarov external fixation there are three basic biomechanical modes to elizarov external fixation we can apply compression that is we can make it less and we can go for destruction we can we can lengthen and we can go for neutralization modes of elizarov external fixation the compression mode is used for point arthro joint arthrodesis all simple fractures to impart stability to bone ends if you look at this right side picture picture of the x-ray you can see the destruction mode used for osteogenesis or calotesis for limb lengthening as well as for ligamentotaxis to provide stability to intra-articular fragments if the fracture is highly comminuted then a neutralization mode is used to prevent limb shortening at that uh, uh, at the bone area stability of any external fixator constructs we can see there are different types of external fixators monolateral bilateral and elizarov and we are telling it circular in monolateral constructs only the half pins are used in a cantilever mode in bilateral constructs combination of the half pins and trans fixator wires are used and elizarov fixator constructs we can use all types of wires and if you use pins then it will get a hybrid combination. Now, regarding the optimal stability, this is very important. Stability, it doesn't mean rigidity. Rigidity doesn't mean undesirable stability. Desirable stability means you have you can control and you have got the axial micromotion. And in the of apparatus, axial micromotion is very important. Whenever you are talking about the undesirable stability, it means you are getting angular bending and you are getting shearing movement that means side to side movement of the two fragments and at the same same time you can get the rotation or torsion that means rotational movements of the fragments so uh, this is the optimal stability now what do you mean by stability spectrum uh, you can get primary union or you can get secondary union if it is unstable then you will get a hypertrophic non-union and loosening and at the same time you will get the infection uh, for primary union you can get non-union delayed union and stress shielding now regarding the uniplanar fixator if you compare the uniplanar with the multiplanar elizarov is always multiplanar if you look at this perpendicular if you uniplanar fixator fixed like this way what will happen and this is particularly and uh, this is actually if you compare the left one middle one and right one uniplanar is not a stable fixator but stability in plane of fixator always in uniplanar you will get a cantilever effect if you look at this picture uniplanar fixator this is your fracture area two fragments and cantilever loading cantilever structure is one which is supported at only one end and beam loading look at the right side picture a beam loading structure is supported at both ends here you can get 
minimal shearing, axial movements with bending. You can see the uh, picture, this one, red one, and uniplanar and bilateral and bending movements very minimized and axial movements minimized in case of this type of uh, plane of fixator. Now, regarding the stability, 90 degree to fixator plane, look at this right side. Bending movement much less here. You'll get some shearing movement and axial movement is very negligible. But if you think about the delta frame, two sides, this is perpendicular from the right side, on the lateral side perpendicular, two uniplanar fixator, this one and this one, each cancels out the other instability and axial movement is prevented. You will not get any axial movement here. This is very stiff, which you can get non-union by this fixator. And dynamic uniplanar fixator, uniaxial, that we are getting orthofix. Actually, unstable by design. This is, you can control yourself, stable to bending, rotation, and you can get some shearing forces here. Regarding the Elizarov and other fixators, linear versus non-linear stiffness. You see here, linear Elizarov carving here. In other fixator, you're not carved here. That is linear versus non-linear stiffness. You can compare with this apparatus, with Elizarov apparatus and other apparatus. Now, why Elizarov more stable than other fixators? If you think about the uh, other fixators, inaxial, biaxial, spatial, or other fixators, this is the I beam, four point fixation. Your wire is going from this side to this side. These two wires you use, you are fixing four points. This is circumferential. You can hold the bone from all sides, goes up and down whenever you can go. You can apply the compression, you can go the destruction. And axial stability very much less. This is very important and allows better axial micro motion. Bending stability equal or more. If you want to bend this one, torsional stability equal or more, and shearing stability also equal or more. Biomechanically, this is very much stable than other all fixator. This is scientifically proved. That's why Elizarov compression destruction device gives more stable fixation than other uh, uh, apparatus. What is axial micro motion? Micro and macro. Probably less than one millimeter displacement at maximum load you can get in one millimeter. Think yourself, this is very less, and you'll get excellent osteogenic response with Elizarov apparatus. Destruction, compression, apparatus, stability variables. What, are, what, what you need, you can think, where diameter how much tension you are applying and you can use the drop wires the wire that is away from the ring 1.5 1.8 and 2 and ring size types of the uh, rings and offset of bonding and connections number of and positions and bone quality uh, it gives a good result and you'll get a, a, a good fantastic result if your bone quality is good, span of bone head, fracture geometry, you'll have to know that one, and interfragmentary compression, how you can apply. And the advantages of Elizar of fixation wire, great advantage to a beam loading with tensioned wire implant is the adjustability of the wire tension to customize the strength of the implant. And varying amounts of tension can be used to support different loads in different parts of the bone. Elizar of wire tensioning, why? You see, if you look at this picture, we are using almost 1.8 mm wire. Then you can apply the 150 mm ring. Then here, the right side, at this side, you can apply 80 to 130 kg of the weight with the dynamometer. And if you think about the wire tensioning, elastic deformation, you should have to know. Plastic deformation, you should have to know and yield point yield point 120 kg per square millimeter 1.5 if you use 1.5 uh, 1.5 uh, where then you you'll cover this one 1.76 mm and if you use 1.8 you'll cover the area 
five four mm and if you use the two mm wire you will cover the 2.7 mm here you can see yield point if you go beyond that limit then you will break the wire so this is the load and this is the length so it is out of manual tensioning tension we can apply 80 to 130 kg if you apply the dynamometer you can see the how much weight you are applying in the wire so carry home message for tension in tension wire stability 90 to 130 kg with a dynamic tension meter that i told you earlier here you see how we are applying the uh, dynamometer manual tensioning by russian technique uh, in emergency case even uh, in the in the normal case the russians they're using but it's better to use the dynamometer exactly you can see how much force you, you are applying uh, around the uh, ring so stability regarding 1990 very uh, good but 1990 you cannot uh, do for the anatomical uh, anatomical constraint everywhere 45 130 you can do like this and you can do like this and tested configuration of the Elizara apparatus. So stability, Elizara wire, uh, K wire factors, drop wire you can see here, olive wire you can see. If if you want to do a good uh, correction, you see here right side uh, ankle fracture by medullar fracture, how we can easily correct with the drop wire and olive wires. So transcutaneous olive wires are you can see here. This is your fracture. You can put the olive wires like this so from the left side, and this is opposite side, or you can go like this, you can do like this. Here are three varieties of the picture. You can see transocial olive wires application. So bend wire technique, how you can correct with bending wire technique. This is also is very important for biomechanics. You should have to think yourself. The half pin we are using, this is the chance half pins in anatomical constraints in the upper femur. That is a proximal fiber. You can apply this type of half pins and uh, you can apply the uh, wires. You can see the tension of the wires and half pins and how to uh, put the half pins and the wires. These are the shunts. Pre drilling is necessary. Increase diameter 4.5, 5.5, and 6 mm by mechanical hybrid frame, laser stable. I beam is lost. This is by mechanically. I told you already, stability of an external fixator construct, half pins should not be placed too close to the joint capsule or fracture hematoma. Wires or half pin further apart and each ring level will increase the level of the lizar of external fixator. Now, dear friends, you can see the lizar of stability bone factors. Here are three pictures you can see. Drop wire, drop wire, drop wire. Ideally, one ring, drop wire and drop wire. This is one. This is another variety of ring drop wire and drop wire. You can see this is less stable drop wire, one ring and two rings. So two rings is always stable. You are getting bending shear stability as wide as possible. Osteoporotic board, thermal necrosis, loss of tension. You should have to think yourself when you are applying the lizard of apparatus. Uh, this is how you can put the lizard of apparatus basic idea basic principle if you know the philosophy and principle the lizard of application in the ot or in preoperative ring size you should have to keep in your mind how much will be your kick this is the measurement of the ring you see template when you are expert you can see by looking your eyes what will be the size of the ring starting from in my country 60 mm to 220 it depends for the pediatric the children 60 80 90 and this is the prepar pre preparation of the ot for elizar surgery you can see here patient is lying this is the trolley how you can uh, manage the patient with different varieties of elizar apparatus so ot preparation you can see here leg is standing in the uh, ot an operating room table which accommodates all necessary trays for Elizaro application. These are the myriads of apparatus. Before applying Elizaro, you must or you must keep in your mind that I have a lot of apparatus so that you can use these apparatus will give you thinking. Your mind will be on patient's leg or head 
whenever you will see you have a lot of different apparatus you can apply you can think yourself how can regulate everything this is before surgery you must have lot of instruments in the ot and this rubber stopper you see you should apply two types of rubber stopper when you are using the olive this is the unit you know, cutting so that you can identify before dispounding remove the apparatus your this is your normal wear or olive wear these are the simple half pin cutters and olive uh, wire cutters and operation ot for elizar of surgery dear friends i would like to tell you the elizar of is not very much difficult to learn only meticulous intelligent study and if you follow up the patient if you know the safe corridor how to put the wires it gives fantastic outcome fantastic results and these are the uh, transocious wire insertion tensioning method sequentially you go for that even you can see the after this is this is when i was working in kurgan you see plastic surgery combination of the elizar of surgery these are the very beautiful things so that you can apply elizar of even in plastic surgery patients rehabilitation fundamental principle i told you is load and motion it's very important this is the rehabilitation activities of the elizar of apparatus stop sharing okay okay one second something is going on uh -huh. this is you see my uh, different patients in different locations of the application of civil is are uh, sorry sorry sir okay. we cannot we cannot uh, see your screen sir now one one minute this is no, very sir. important screen you can no so we, no, so we can't you can't no no wait 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 Anyway, you, say, you don't see you don't see huh? 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 so So this is almost near about finishing. I'm going to but something wrong here. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so would you would you uh, would you like to uh, finish your presentation right now? No, no. Can you see this one picture? Uh, no, sir. Yet not. One, one, one second. Okay. Yet not. Yet not. Very, very good very, picture very now. Good this picture now. This. This is slow. Very slow. No. Uh, then we, you have time, two minutes? Yes, sir. No problem. We can wait for you, okay. sir. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Uh, dear viewers, we are waiting for our honorable speaker, uh, Professor Mafakarul Bari, sir. Uh, he is now disconnected, uh, but uh, trying to reconnect with us. And uh, uh, I think uh, he can manage his connection yet. Uh, yes, uh, Professor Mafakarul Bari, sir, uh, is on his screen now. We can see him, and I hope uh, we will listen from him again. Uh, is it okay? One minute, one yeah. minute. Yeah, we still time. It's time, eh? Yeah. Ten minutes. Yes, sir. I mean, okay, okay. There is Chrome has crashed. You know, Chrome is disturbing. Yes. One minute, one minute. I can show you. Mm -hmm. This is the problem of the signs. Yes. Yes. Not trouble, trouble. Okay. Now, uh, can you see this? Yeah, we can. We can see the screen. Uh, one minute, one minute. I'm going, going, going fast. Front. I'm going fast. Uh, Now you can see this one? Yes, sir. Yes. The rehab so activity, the, yeah. Yeah, see? So uh, I always. Uh, uh, <clears throat> one, one, one minute. It is 30 seconds. Give me 30 seconds. Interact with you I guess, eh? I one minute. Okay. Stop sharing. Uh, so, can you see this? Uh... Yes, sir. Uh, we can see you. The uh, uh, screen is, I convey my gratitude towards the slide. Uh, we can see. Can see. Do you need any more time, sir? Or, uh, we can continue, we can continue our, continue our discussion. discussion. Uh, maybe uh, this part of your presentation we can uh, see uh, next time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I think so I also. Think so also. Uh, uh, dear viewers, dear uh, viewers. Uh, due to some uh, connectivity problem, uh, we are uh, facing these sorts of problems. Uh, hope we overcome these problems uh, and we'll reconnect with our uh, honorable uh, academic panel and speaker. Uh, now, I would like to uh, share something uh, regarding the Elizarum. Uh, 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 this uh, is this a very is important a very topic, important topic uh, Elizarum, uh, and we are doing the Elizarum uh, in Neto and as well as in other medical college hospitals. And uh, not for the ultimate destiny, but uh, now we are doing it uh, in a primary case. Uh, uh, usually, uh, in case of open fracture, in case of non-linear, uh, in fact, okay. 
and some sort of deformity corrections that we are doing there is sort of Uh, we are facing uh, the internet problem a lot. Uh, uh, as we are uh, telling about the Elizaro, uh, that uh, we are doing the Elizaro uh, uh, in our uh, medical college, uh, such as in Manchin uh, Medical College, uh, Rangpur Medical College, and uh, even in uh, Kushtia Medical College, uh, and as well as uh, in NITO, that is the National Institute of. Colleagues, I lost you. I cannot see you. Sunday, sir, please unmute. Uh, Professor uh, Navikov, sir, can you hear me? Uh, Navikov, sir, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I listen to you. Yeah, I heard you. Okay. Uh, uh, Professor Barisar is trying to reconnect with us, and uh, uh, I think uh, we can discuss uh, regarding our topic the biomechanics of uh, Elizarov. Uh, now, I would like to request you to share your. Uh, knowledge regarding your uh, you know, the biomechanics of Elizarov uh, with us and definitely with the young uh, Elizarov surgeon of Bangladesh. Uh, sir, I would like to request uh, you to share your uh, very valuable knowledge with us. Uh, uh, if uh, we talk about uh, Elizarov frame, uh, like any methods, uh, young doctor need to start work with. Uh, expert uh, surgeon because uh, excellent presentation uh, just now showed uh, professor barry uh, but <clears throat> we cannot explain uh, clear how we to do tension how we can put uh, frame uh, which kind of position better this is only experience uh, hand by hand face to face uh, surgeon to surgeon, we can uh, shift our experience to young surgeon. But this is like music. If uh, any young surgeon will feel possibilities in these uh, magic methods, you can see how uh, can help Elizarov technique, Elizarov philosophy get us uh from any complication from any difficulties for example uh yesterday i uh, operate young girl from uh, central of russia uh simple fracture but open fracture forearm both of uh, bones uh, ulna and uh, radius twice she uh, was uh, operated in uh, Moscow in our uh, Central Trauma Institute. Uh, after each uh, surgery, uh, very soon come uh, deformity of uh, forearm. And then the doctor closed the uh, growth line. And uh, she come for us. Uh, for with the severe deformity of uh, for forearm, twice she operate with uh, another osteosynthesis. Just now, outside uh, fixator, Elizara fixator, give us possibilities lengthening and uh, equalized size of uh, both of bone. And uh, for me, more easy uh, will answer for your questions. If you have any questions, pl uh, please just now give me 
and I will uh, answer. And uh, our knowledge uh, with biomechanics, we get step by step. And uh, maybe just now, uh, this is um, sometimes a little bit difficult uh, for understanding, but this is like, I won't repeat again, like music, very easy when you start use. From simple to difficult, but each day, during uh, my experience, near the 40 years, uh, 39 years, and I, I use only one technique, Elizarov technique. And uh, so many times I try use uh, in other uh, plates, intramedullary nail, and immediately I have not difficulties, I have severe complications and uh, go away only with uh, my, uh, our helper with uh, Elizara Frey. Without knowledge about uh, biomechanical, all of uh, alphabet, our alphabet uh, principles uh, of uh, Elizara methods, all time uh, surgeon get problems and complications. But our uh, methods, when we understand, when we follow all of rules about Elizarov techniques, this is magic situation when doctor go to the area free of complications. Free, never come uh, problems if surgeon follow rules and law of Elizarov principles. Colleagues, did you help me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's great, sir. We have to follow the principles and rules always uh, to get the success. Uh, sir, uh, uh, I have a question. Is there any rules to um, uh, insert the uh, wires? Uh, we have to maintain any angle during inserting the uh, uh, Elizarov wires? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, next uh, Friday, we will talk about a safe area and some techniques of uh, how we can, how we need pass uh, the wires. Uh, I try my best uh, on the next presentation, I will show because uh, Dr. Barry explained about uh, this and uh, many, many complications come from this point when, uh, for example, uh, doctor start uh, pass uh, wires in the uh, diaphysis and without stop, uh, without uh, put on some uh, cool uh, liquid, come in uh, situation when uh, end of wire cook, burn, uh, burn, then come in necrosis this area, then come in uh, uh, some inflammations, then come in uh, osteomyelitis, and this is from beginning fault of doctor. Uh, this reason why better uh, pass wire and see how pass wire uh, experience doctor, old doctor, step by step with uh, rest, uh, with respect for soft tissue, because if uh, you will uh, pass wire without uh, follow interest of uh, soft tissue, immediately will come uh, some difficulties uh, after <coughs> surgery. And uh, why we use, still we use uh, wire? Because uh, wire so elastic and so strong. And when uh, after surgery, patients start use uh, legs or uh, upper extremities. Wires uh, give possibilities for bone to breathe. And uh, first, when you pass uh, wire, we fix very strong uh, fixed bone. But with same situation, wire give possibilities uh, little bit change uh, size of bone and with weight with weight bearing 
uh, bone can breathe. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, sharing your knowledge with us. And uh, we have our Professor Mufakarul Bari, sir, with uh, our program, Orthopedic Solution Academy again. Uh, sir, welcome back. Uh, I think uh, uh, you're okay now. Your now I have okay the laptop. My one is 60% uh, is restarting working. So I have entered another laptop. So uh, almost I was in the uh, ending of the uh, my lecture, and I could not show you the some beautiful slides. So this is, is OK. Now I could not follow the uh, questions and answers of the Novika professor. So what any questions you can ask me, or uh, uh, Professor Novikov can add anything. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving me the time that uh, I could. I have not taken too much time, but we have started late, 20, 25 minutes late. Okay. And uh, the program was good, I think so. I don't know what is the comment of uh, Professor Novikov, please. Can we connect? Yes, sir. Uh, we, are, we, are, we have already asked Professor Novikov, sir, and uh, he shared his knowledge regarding. Uh, the wire passing and uh, he told us that uh, in the next Friday uh, he will discuss uh, uh, regarding this matter. Uh, we hope for the best and uh, Professor Novikov sir, uh, do you have any questions uh, to our Professor uh, Mufakarul Bari sir regarding this uh, presentation? No, I want to only say, uh, let me say uh, thank you very much for uh, for this information because uh, I can say, Dr. Barry, our ambassador in the world, this is a great person who give so many excellent, perfect information about uh, Russian technique. And I am very expressed, thank you. Because uh, very strange, just now uh, foreign doctor, like Dr. Barry, right, like uh, Inaze, uh, Dr. Arshad from India, Dr. Hosni from Egypt, Dr. Raou from Iran, uh, Dr. Kivrienka from Italy, uh, return uh, our technique back to the Russia. Because very strange, just now, uh, Elizarov technique uh, use, this is true, not so many doctors. Why? Because uh, in Russia coming west of uh, system for treatment, when uh, chief of hospital uh, very strictly check uh, time of treatment uh, quickly quickly next 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 uh, because because money is honey and uh, Elizarov technique not so quickly and uh, when we talk about uh, perfect result we cannot get quickly we cannot get uh, during few days our technique uh, for doctor who can uh, who already spend time for patient and uh, uh, with a person like Barry just now uh, step by step uh, Elizarov message back to the home to the Russia I want to say again thank you very much and uh, I want uh, share my experience uh, with the doctor from Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I hope uh, we will learn many things uh, in the coming Friday from uh, Professor Navikov, sir, uh, regarding the Elizarum. And uh, now I would like to thank uh, our honorable speaker, Professor Mafatul, sir, for his brilliant presentation. Uh, and he is the pioneer Elizarum surgeon in Bangladesh. And he is the ideal of Elizarov in Bangladesh. So I would like to give him a, a, a salute from Orthopedic Solution Academy uh, for being with us. And we are very much uh, proud uh, to have uh, Professor Novikov sir with us. And it's a great pleasure for us and definitely a great honor for all orthopedic surgeons of Bangladesh. And I would like to give thanks to uh, Professor Novikov sir and Professor Mufakkarul Bari sir from Orthopedic Solution Academy and from Raj TV. Uh, so thank you, thank you very much for being with us and I hope uh, uh, we'll see you in the next Friday with another magnificent topic. 
And I would like to thank Raj TV and definitely our sponsor, Renata Pharmaceuticals Limited, uh, for sponsoring this program. And now uh, uh, I would like to give a special thanks to our viewers. And dear viewers, please uh, stay tuned with us and stay tuned with Raj TV uh, so that uh, you can get uh, the latest information regarding the Elizabeth. And I'm Dr. Mahmoud Tanvira Shav uh, saying bye bye to you uh, for today. And uh, hope we'll see you in the next Friday with another magical Elizabeth topic. Till then, bye bye. Bye bye. You are Thank watching you. Raj TV. Jagorone, Bangladesh. Please subscribe our channel.